Hello, Shaky here, and we are back in Upload Labs. I have saved up the 2 billion research that we need to unlock the next item in the tech tree, which is coding. But before we do that, there was a comment on my last video about possibly trying sound and image files to make research go faster. I think the thinking there is that the sound and image files are a lot smaller, so they download a lot faster. So we'd have a lot more files to send to the research, and maybe that speeds up research. We can take a look at our research over here. We're making like 10.2 per second right now. I don't know what this 62.2 per second game file means. So I guess we'll let's hook up image or sound and see what that does. I can just drag my sound. I got all my, all my stuff in node groups now, so I can just grab the sound one up here and drag it down. That is this one right here. Let's just grab this node group here and bring it down over there. For some reason it doesn't grab the folders. I think they fixed that in the latest update, but I just haven't downloaded it yet. I think it's still in beta. Right now we're making 10.2k research per second. Let's hook up the processor and download speed to this uh, sound group here and see what it does. Alright, so taking a look at the sound files here, we got 83.3 million coming in per second. That is going to the antivirus pro here. This number was backlogged here, but it's slowly counting down since I got enough clock speed hooked up to it. This one's stuck at 4.95 million. I don't know, we'll see if that goes down once this clears out. And there's a little backup here too, 2.47 million. But it looks like it's sending 83.3 million over to the... Uh, research lab here and so we're at 4.65 per second we were at 10.2 before i believe but we could probably increase the speed and that might help us along so let's do that real quick yeah it's definitely gonna make a huge difference yeah that's definitely the way to go thank you for that comment because that is going to save me tons of time we can upgrade this a couple more times until this number is not coming up it's still counting up so we can keep upgrading this here 1.77 AB now. This number's still counting up, so we upgrade it again. Let's upgrade it one more time. We're at 1.7 AC now. Might as well go to up to AD. This number is still counting up, so we could still increase our research. And look at that, we're at 76.1 million per second instead of 10.2K. That is amazing. What a great comment. Thanks a lot. Wow, look at that number go now. 5 billion. We're gonna hit the 10 billion mark. That's gonna be, that's gonna fix up my portal real quick. These need 10, and look at that line go. That's amazing. I'm not even like on fast forward. There you go, we just hit 10 billion on all those. So that's wonderful, thanks for the comment. Looking at the portal here, we're gonna actually hit the 1 trillion mark pretty quickly too here. That's gonna give us a huge increase. We'll have plus three on these and plus two on this. So that'll be great when we prestige. We'll have a whole bunch of rewards. Let's hit the research trip and spend some of these massive amounts of research points we have now. We're definitely gonna unlock coding. That's only 1 billion. We have 777 billion. Unlock that. That gives us a whole bunch of new coding nodes, new utility nodes, and a new achievement. Nice. All right, we have a whole bunch of research available to us now with all our new research points. We're getting really close to the 1 trillion already. Uh, we're just gonna go through them one at a time here real quick. So this is coding. All right, we hit the 1 trillion mark already, so that should mean that we have plus three here now on the system and the hacking and plus two on coding. So we'll definitely want to prestige pretty soon to take advantage of all that. But let's take a look at some of the new stuff first here. We have some achievements we can grab on off the list here. Get us some more tokens. We got unlock coding that's done now. Looks like that's the only one. So we got a new menu down here, the coding menu. It has a whole bunch of things on it. Let's just start putting some of them down. This is coding speed. So we're only allowed one of these. So this is so much like network speed and download speed and all that good stuff. And we also have a commit button. That looks like it takes an orange triangle. So we don't know what that is yet. Bug fix. And then we have a whole bunch of variables under here. We have bool variables, int variables. Let's grab one of these variables and see what that does. It looks like we need a bool and an int. So let's grab a bool and let's grab an int. They both require the blue circle. So it looks like we have a chain we can make up now. Looks like if we send the code speed over to the int and the bool, we can send it over to the bug fix and that'll generate our orange triangle, which is bug fix code. And we can commit that and get our contribution points, which again, we can send back to here, which I'm assuming is Similar to hacking, it increases our code speed. So let's try setting that up real quick. It's gonna start off pretty slow, I assume. That is bool and ints being coded. These come into the code bug fix here. It's going to be committed. So nice, we got like 25 contribution points. I'm assuming this goes back into our codings, which I assume is going to increase our coding speed. Looks like that says three OPS. We'll see what happens when it gets up to 60 here. Nice, so yeah, that definitely increased our code speed to 4.5 now. Okay, we also unlocked some new utility to tools here, the repository and the segmenter. The repository, I believe, is like a folder. You could probably store multiple things in it. Some ints in here, and let's throw some bools in here. Yeah, so it looks like you can connect multiple things. It stores them separately, and then you can actually output them separately. 
And my guess is the segmenter here is just a splitter, basically. You can ratio it out. So you can basically change out how many ints go up and down. You can split it up however you see fit. We're just going to delete those for now. We're going to take a quick look at the hacking setup I have. I haven't touched this in a while. I've just been switching in between breaching corporations and breaching government to get these points up here for a little bit. We do have some grades available here. We can grab the government sabotage, which reduces the government defenses by 10%. That is what we're doing right now, the government. So this is 4.15. We can grab this one. Knocks it down to 3.73. Not too bad. Increase our money gain by 20%. That's pretty awesome. Takes us up another 20 AC. That's to 126 AC per second. We have a bank we can breach here. I don't know if we are strong enough to breach this bank, but we could try. This requires 10.2k to get through the firewall and 10.2 to get to the breach. So, and we're only about 3.2 per second. So I don't think we're going to be able to do it, but let's try it. Yeah, we, we, we made it. Nice. Give us some tokens. And we also have an upgrade available to us now that we have all this research. We can grab the research menu, the hack skills for 100 million. Okay, if we do it again for 10 billion, might as well. Does that allow us to put another critical payload down? Let's check the hacking menu. Yes, it does. We can put two more of these down if we wanted to. I don't know if it makes sense to split this. Probably not because we can't combine them. Yeah, so it basically lowered our power in half here. So it doesn't really do us any good to have three of these, I don't think. All right, we'll come back to this later. It looks like we don't have enough uh, tools right now to hook up multiple payloads. And they do not hook up to the infection one, so right now we're just going to leave it go for now. I'm sure we'll unlock something on the tech tree that'll change that for us. All right, let's hit up the research, see what else we got in there. Maybe there's something for hacking in there. Looks like we have a ghost here. This is allows the ghost attack skill, allowing any damage to ignore the firewall. That sounds pretty awesome. 300 million, we'll buy that one. And what is this one here? 8 billion cost, unlocks the infect payload skill, allowing payload damage to get extra infection damage. Let's grab both of those. And head back to our hacking setup here. Okay, I cleaned up the hacking area a little bit. I put all our hacking power stuff in this node group here. And down here I put all the government and corporations and stuff that were breaching the banks. Uh, we have some new hacking tools we can check out real quick. We have the infect payload. And we also have the ghost attack. Now it looks like we're doing 3.2k damage with the critical payload. On occasion we do a 5.31. So if we hook this one up to the anonymous here, it looks like we... So this is one we can watch the time meter go down. It looks like we're breaching every... It gets down to about 2 seconds then we breach it. That one went a lot faster. It depends if we get a critical one, it goes a little bit faster, but it looks like for the most part, it's going down to two seconds and then we breach them. Let's get rid of that one. Now let's move it over to the infect payload, which looks like it causes both kind of damage now. We have payload damage and infection damage. So those can both be hooked up. All right, so now it looks like we're doing 5.3 and 1.06. It looks like the firewall is getting breached instantly. Our first attack takes the firewall out and then we go to the breach here. It looks like we're getting down to about three seconds. So it looks like we're a second faster on this one. We could probably try to throw the ghost attack in there and see what that does. So it looks like it takes out the firewall pretty quickly. And it looks like we're still about the three second mark. Occasionally it does it a little bit faster. So I'd say those are probably about the same speed. It probably makes a bigger difference on the firewall one. If we do like the one that has bigger firewall, like the bank down here, the 20.4k firewall. So the ghost attack might be more beneficial on that one. So I hook the ghost up, attack up to the breach government here and you can see the firewall. It just ignores the firewall together and breaches it without even touching the firewall. Super beneficial, saves us 3.73k worth of damage. So we're breaching the government pretty quickly now. Probably increase the threat even, 7.46, get most of our points for it. And we're still breaching them successfully. Definitely use the ghost on the stuff that has a higher firewall. All right, we'll let that hacking go for a while. We have some code still going down here. Looks like we're at level eight now, 34.1 OPS. Let's hit up the research tree again. Let's just grab this token mining thing. I think that'll be worthwhile, 110 billion. New GPU nodes available. Go see what those do. All right, let's grab our new GPU node. This is the token mine. We are currently using our GPU speed for clock speed right now, but we can see how much that affects it if we move this over. Wow, that's looks like it's pretty beneficial. We got 10 tokens already. I don't know if that slows down as it gets higher and higher though. It's just automatically giving them to us right up here. But it's definitely slowing down. It looks like it increases every time. So I assume that'll eventually be worthless, but for now we'll let it go. Let us mine some tokens. All right, back to the research tree. Let's grab the debugging for 50 billion. All right, let's grab our new debug tool here. This is right here in the coding menu. Looks like it takes some coding speed and you have to input some code. Drag it up here, I think, for now. Right now we're doing 17 per second. Let's see how that changes if we use the debug tool over here. And we'll take this out of here. So now we have bug fix code and bug fix code with bugs. We can take a look at the book real quick. Under the nodes section here, the debug says debugs inserted code, adding the debug modifier, which increases the code quality by 4x. But they have a 50% chance of having the bug modifier, which reduces its quality by 4x. So we could probably put that into the commit one. 
And that definitely slowed us down 4.56. So I'm sure there's a use for it, but probably not right now. Our, while we were working on that, our hacking was running in the background and we gained up enough points to get our research up again. So increases our research by 20%. We're at 1.33 billion per second. Now we're at 1.6 billion per second. Nice. And the next portal level is 100 trillion. We're not going up very fast now, so we might have to prestige before we work on that again. All right, let's spend some money and upgrade our research speed one more time. See if that makes a difference. We're at 1.6 billion. Now we're at 2.07 billion. That's pretty nice, but now we're out of money. All right, back to Tech Tree. Let's grab the next one. Let's grab, uh, what is this one? Bug fixing. Unlocks access to bug fixing, which fixes bugs code for its increased value. That's 20 trillion. We're going to have to hold off on that one for a little bit. This one is only 1 billion. Unlocks access to variable combinations, optimization coding, and building. Let's try that one. New coding nodes available. Let's put some of our new coding tools down. We have the variable combiner, code float. We've always had that. Code character, I don't know what that one is. And we also have this new code optimization. It requires bit flags and vectors. We can look at the book real quick to see what those are. Under the nodes variable combiner, we have bit flag was a bool and an int, and vector is a float plus a float. Let's just disconnect this. We're making 17 per second. Let's see if we can increase that. Let's grab the bool and the int down to this variable combiner. That should make us our bit flag. Nice, so that's working down there. And then we're adding another variable combiner. This one we're going to need vectors, so we're going to need floats out of this one. So we're going to have to grab it from here down to here. And we need to split our coding speed up some more. That makes floats. We could probably just pull two floats out of here. Although we're probably going to want to put down another code link here because it's going to be uneven. This is coming in 11.3. This is coming at 5.2, 5.7 because we're pulling both of them out of this one. That goes into here. And then we can take our optimization code up to the commit link instead of the instead of the code bug fix. And now we're making 22.7. And I wonder if we put down another code float, if that'll speed things up or not. Because right now we're building up some extra floats in here, and we don't have enough to match it, so it's not even. So we down to there, and we will replace that one with this. Yeah, nice. So that's now 34.1 per second. All right, we're probably going to want to prestige pretty soon to take advantage of all those increased speeds. But let's see how far we can make it through the research tree first. We have some stuff down here. Actually, we can do this double enhancer thing that gives you an extra enhance enhancement node. It's only 100 million. We might as well grab that one. What does this one cost? Cost one trillion. We'll probably hold off on that one for now. Same sign as one double compression. We'll grab that one for hundred million. We'll come back to these if we have an extra trillion at the end. But next up, I think we're going to do this application coding thing. Unlocks access to arrays and application coding. One trillion. Let's go ahead and do that. Give us some new coding nodes. Okay, let's put down our new coding tools here. We got the new array code application. Looks like code application needs strings and big ints. You can check the book again real quick. Those are strings are two characters and big ints are two ints. So we need two ints and two characters. All right, right now we're making 51.2 per second code contributions. So let's uh, turn that off and see if we can increase that by using our new setup. We're gonna get rid of the bool for now. And we need a second int to make a big int. We can hook those guys up. That should make a big int if we combine them in a variable combiner right here. Nice, we have a big int, that's nice. And then this code application requires an array of big ints. So we just have this array tool here. We can grab that up here. I guess that just goes right into here. Nice, that's our, an array of big ints. This probably goes into the code application. Nice, now we need an array of strings, which is two characters, I believe. Get rid of these floats for now. And we have some code characters. We're going to grab this one over here. We're going to copy that one. Hook those up to the coding speed. Send those into the combiner here. That should make us a string, I believe. Nice, there's a string. Now we need another array. So let's grab a copy of this guy. Just control C, control V. And then that can make us an array of strings. Nice, and this thing needs to go into the application up top here. And then that code application code can go into the commit button instead of the code optimization. That'll replace that. And now we are making 102 per second. So we almost doubled it. All right, let's head back into the tech tree and see if we can clear some of this out. We have, we can grab this double or triple compression here. One trillion, we got 38 trillion. Nice, we'll grab the triple enhancement. One trillion, get that out of the way. And then we have this Trojan, this costs 10 billion. Unlocks the inject Trojan, Trojan node, allowing files to be injected with Trojans produced by hacking. Let's check that out. And let's just grab this one here too. This is uh, 5 trillion, so getting a little pricey, but unlocks the exposed weakness skill, causes breach targets to take more damage based on hack power. That's good there. Let's go check out those. Oh, we got some new hacking tools here. We have execute injection. That looks like it takes some hacking power and it creates a vulnerability, which now all our things, our breaches have vulnerability options on them down here. So we could check this out one, see if it speeds us up at all. It goes to 1.7 XX, so that's pretty nice. Doesn't really look like it's speeding up at all though. So that is that one. I'm sure that'll become more useful later. Okay, with the inject Trojan here, we can grab the Trojan power over here. That's on our 
hacking interface here. We have a certain amount of Trojans. Looks like we have 32.7 per K per second. Put these in here. And these require a file, so I'm just downloading some text files right now as a trial. Put those into here. And so now we are have a text file with a Trojan on it. We could probably send those over to the uploader. And nice, now we have money coming in and a infected computer coming in. So we can grab the infected computer, send it up to our new drain tool up here. And this gives us a component boost of 1.71x, it looks like. So we could probably drag this down to, I believe it hooks up to like maybe the network. So look here, we have a component boost of 1x right now on our network here. I believe this is our money making one. If so we can hook up to here and see if this makes a difference, we have 126 AC per second right now. It was a component boost. We now have 152 AC. So that'll come in handy in the future. I'm sure we can increase this boost up a little bit and make this super beneficial to increase our network speed. Let's head back over to the tech tree here. And I think we'll just spend the rest of our points and then look at prestiging. Right now we could have you know, 300% increase to this. So we are currently at 100% that would bring it up to 400%. This one we have no bonus and no bonus here. So we increase our hacking power by 300% and our coding by 200%. So that seems pretty beneficial. I think we want to take advantage of that. But let's go, go ahead and spend the rest of our research points here. I think we're going to need to unlock the artificial intelligence for 1 trillion. It gives us some new nodes to work with that we'll probably look at next episode. That's 100 trillion. 20 AA, so we don't have that right now. 400 trillion, 80 AC. Yeah, so these are quite high numbers. You know, we could probably do this one here, the large language model. That'd be 1 trillion. And these down here are 160 trillion, 1 AA, and 20 trillion. We could probably do the 20 trillion one, but I think we'll save that for next episode. That's going to do it for this episode. We'll explore the AI side of the tech tree in the next episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.